guys, I feel like I'm doing something really random and like I'm excited, nervous. I'm not sure like why I'm, well, I am sure why I'm doing it. Hi, by the way. Obviously, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to a concert on my own. I'm going to see The weekend on my own, like, yeah, so this is what I mean. Like, I don't know if I'm like excited, nervous, scared. Like, I'm so excited to see The weekend. don't get me wrong, but I've like never done this before. But I feel like, I think one of my New Year's resolutions, or like I've just given out this advice before, is to just, if you want to do something, just do it. Like, stop relying on, like, other people and just do it. And add, I, like, I wanted to go and see The weekend. Like, if you know me, you know, like, I am diehard, like, obsessed with him and his music. And I remember the tickets coming on sale and I was like, I have to go. Like, I have to go. Like, nothing can stop me. I must go. And I, we tried to get tickets just all sold out like straight away we were in the queue for like ages and then just like months later i got this facebook ad facebook ad instagram ad being like more tickets on sale and i was like oh my god but they were just all in like really shit seats except there was one ticket in a seating area and it was really good seating but it was just one and obviously I feel like that, and it was like such a good price because it was just one ticket. Like who wants to go to a concert on their own? I do if it means going. So I'm fucking going. And that's what we're getting ready for. And I thought maybe if I vlog it, number one, it might inspire people to do the same thing. Like if you needed a sign to just like take yourself somewhere and just do it. And you're sick of like, I don't know, people canceling or just like not being free or just whatever. Just go by yourself. I feel like a concert as well, you've all got one thing in common. You love the person that you're going to see. And then when they're performing, you're not exactly like chatting with people anyway. You're just singing. So, I don't know. Like, I'm really excited. And it's an absolutely stunning day outside. If you can hear my fan, it's because it's, it's bloody hot. So I need a fan on. But yeah, like I said, I just thought I would vlog it. And it would just be a fun experience, a fun video. I feel like if I take you guys along, then it will be like I am sort of going with someone. Anyway, in terms of makeup, I'm not really sure like what I want to do. I feel like I want to go quite like minimal. I want to be quite cash because I'm going on my own. But I feel like because it's hot and at a concert, I need it to last and the sun is out. Sweat resistant and all that. Um, I am going in with one of my absolute favorite L'Oreal serums. You guys know I'm obsessed with these before makeup. They're just so good. I love serums, but normally they can be quite like heavy on the skin and they're not like meant to really go like under makeup. These ones are literally, well, they're not necessarily like designed to go under makeup, but they work so well under makeup. They're so lightweight, but they still do the most. Like you're not sacrificing on their skincare properties because it's like lightweight. And this vitamin C one in particular is so good for like tone correcting on the skin and for your pores and like any lines that you might have. And when you pair it with the SPF, it makes your skin look four times brighter. And I'm going for like summer skin vibes today so these two in my makeup routine are so good for that like summery skin and don't just take my word for it on these they are validated by dermatologists but i do actually have a really cool little tool here because i feel like you probably hear people banging on about how important spf is all the time but i thought why don't i show you what your skin looks like before and after sort of SPF to show you that it is actually working and it's protecting your skin. So I've got this little device and we're gonna do Wow guys look at my skin right now. Okay, I'm screen recording the screen. I'm gonna put it on the screen Okay, so this is my skin just I've just put the serum on I'm not currently wearing any SPF So let's now take the L'Oreal Revitalift clinical anti-UV fluid SPF 50 On our skin. Let's just do a little a little mark here. Shall we? So that's where I've put the SPF. And you can see, you can see where that mark is. This dark mark shows where I'm UV protected. Like this camera detects like the UV protection, if that makes sense. So you can see I'm protected there. So on a day like this, and also apparently the UV is like really high at the moment. Um, 
you best believe I'm gonna be popping this on my skin out in the sun. And what I love the most about this one is there's no white cast. It works really well under makeup and especially for today, it's sweat resistant. That's what you want in this heat and at a concert. It's suitable for sensitive skin and you can see it's like giving me like a glow, but it's, it's not greasy or oily. And with that, serum underneath i can i just feel like my skin looks so bright you know anything that's going to keep me looking younger for longer i know everyone always tells you to wear your spf but it's for a reason you guys i mean you saw on the camera like let's look at my face again oh my god it's like i've got a face mask on at least you know i'm protected it's just so lightweight on the skin and if you still haven't got your spf make sure you check those two out i'll leave them linked down below like i said paired together just is such a good base. Sweat, water, and pollution resistant. And a protective base for your skin. I will leave them linked down below. I'm gonna go in with primer now. Love this primer for events like this. If I need it to like onto the skin. But yeah, I'm feeling like a little bit nervous. I don't think I'm gonna really drink tonight. I'll have like a glass of Prosecco here and I will have a glass of Prosecco probably when I'm there, just to like give me something to do and to sip along. But because I'm gonna be on my own, I wanna have like my wits about me, you know? So I don't wanna get drunk. I actually went out last night and got extremely drunk. So maybe that also is playing into the fact as to why I don't want to drink today. There is just something about when the sun comes out, my darling, I just, would love a glass in my hand of something crisp and dry and fresh. I am just having my Red Bull currently. Because Lord knows I need the energy. I think I'm just going to go in with a tiny bit of the By Mario foundation. I really like don't want too much on my base. I don't know. I really want to just do like a lightweight skin vibe. But I am going in with a brush. And then I'm going to go in with a sponge. I don't know if I'm really gonna do anything on my eyes like either, just like a bit of mascara maybe. That's what I mean, like I feel like I just wanna go quite cash. But it, this has come around like so quickly. I feel like I got the ticket ages ago. And I feel like if I see people there tonight and they're gonna be like, and if they say like, are you, who are you with? And I'm gonna be like on my own, might tell a white lie and be like, yeah, I was meant to be here with someone but they canceled. So like obviously, I just, I, I wasn't gonna miss out. Or should I just be honest and say, I've come on my own, love. And there's no, there's no wrong with that. I am like wanting to start doing more things like on my own. Like I said, I just don't like relying on other people. And if there's something like I wanna do, why shouldn't I just do it, you know? But the weather is so nice. And it's such a busy weekend. Like this weekend is the Champions League final. That's not here though, I don't think, because I'm going to see the weekend at the Esiad, so it can't be. But um, it's, the Champion League, it's the Champions League final. I just envision there'll be lots of people like out and about probably watching it. Um, it's park life this weekend as well. Like honestly, it's all popping off this weekend and the weather has not let us down. Hallelujah, I say that even though I'm gonna be like inside a stadium, although it's at the Esiad, so the roof obviously does come off. I wonder if the roof will be off. Time to contour. And maybe I'll just put a tiny bit of this. Ooh. Oh my guy, like in my socket maybe. And that's literally like all I'm gonna do on the eyes. Wow, I feel like I've gone a bit heavy handed with this because I need to remember that with that product, you absolutely don't need too much. I've got a different shade though. I got the shade light, fair, no, like fair light. I think that's nice. Just for a little light contour. I think this one's definitely on like the cooler tone side of things as well. I have the shade like medium dark and that's definitely like really warm. I have picked up a few new like makeup-y bits. So let me know if you want me to do like a full face of new makeup because I feel like I still really love finding new products. I love shopping for makeup. It's just so therapeutic. There's something as well about like just being all excited about new products. And I'm definitely trying to hone in more on like summer skin and not going like too ham on my base these days. So yeah, let me know if you want to see some sort of video that correlates to that. I just said like a bunch of words, but I feel like, you know what I'm trying to say. Let me just contour my nose. So I went out last night and tell me why I literally saw Met 
spoke to got their Instagram my like future husband he's not my future husband but by god he was a stunning man and my friend was like why don't you just go tell him and I was like okay I will and that was definitely the tequila talking because like who do I think I am just going up to someone and being like I literally like ta tapped him on the back and was like um I just wanted to let you know you're genuinely one of the sexiest men I've ever seen and he was like oh really and I was like yes he looked like bad bunny like and, I, and like I'm not that's not even an understatement like he genuinely did and therefore I couldn't let that or him even pass me by without saying something. So I'm like, I feel like this weekend is just all about stepping outside my comfort zone and doing things I don't normally do. But also you guys, oh my God, I wore a bodysuit last night. That's normally like my trusty bodysuit, go-to bodysuit always like it's like a halter neck it just like makes my boobs look good i was like i'll wear that tonight i've not been out in ages feeling really good like let's just wear something it was like quite a last minute decision to go out so i just was like i can't be fucked faffing about i know this outfit looks good i'm gonna wear that oh my god i put it on tell me why my boobs just like barely filled out my the top I was genuinely like so sad. I was like, oh my gosh, because I feel like I've definitely like lost weight from my boobs, don't get me wrong, but they're still big. But yeah, I put that top on and I was like, oh my gosh, like where have my boobs gone? And then I and got me thinking like, oh my gosh, like <laughs> not like who am I without my boobs? But I was just like a bit shocked. And I've seen on like, I joined like a group on Facebook when I was really wanting to get a boob reduction. And loads of like, it's, I guess it's like something that you just kind of forget it's like a thing, but there were loads of posts about girls sort of saying, nobody warns you about the fact that you just kind of like mourn the loss of your boobs after a boob reduction because that's all you've ever known is like having these big boobs and like oh my gosh you're so relieved when um you get them removed if that if that's like what you want or like reduced sorry but this one like i remember seeing a few posts being like does anybody else like just feel a bit like who are they and like like just mourn the loss of their boobs and i'm not saying that i've lost my boobs don't get me wrong but yeah, like I literally was like, oh my God, this is really happening. Like my boobs are shrinking. And I felt quite sad about it. I, I genuinely was a bit like, oh my God, who am I without my boobs? <laughs> so I feel like I'm definitely not opposed to looking into getting my boobs done purely because I just want the volume back. And I, I don't not want big boobs because I feel like that's who I am. Not that I'm a big boob, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I feel like they're just like part of me. I always wanted them a little bit smaller, um, but now I want them a little bit fuller. So maybe a reduce and implants is what I want. This is me just thinking out loud, by the way. Any boob recommendations, any, if like anyone else has had their boobs done I really just would want them to look natural like that's my thing and I feel like I would because I've got a lot of tissue um so yeah any I did ask on my Instagram not long ago but any boob recommendations like surgeons hit a, hit a sister up and let me know I'm going in with this nude sticks cream blush in cherry blossom babe that's a really pretty color and I really love the formula of these. So you know I love my Kylie cream blush because it's like balmy. These are also balmy. <laughs> balmy. I have one in the shade Poppy Girl as well. Like I really love these. Did I join the Sophia Richie hype and like just kind of get it because she co-founds that brand? Maybe, but I've used nude sticks before and these colors looked really good. And I remember seeing her kind of obviously promote it and use it and it had that like look like glossy finish to the skin and I was like maybe I need to get some 
Maybe I need to get me some of these. I actually might go in a little bit with the Poppy Girl shade. Just, like, on the apples, look like a, a clown or something. And just blend that in a bit on my nose. Like, is that not just, like, gorgeous, like, summer skin vibes? Obsessed. Right, I'm going to go ahead and set with powder. I'm going to go ahead and just use my little... I'm using lots of mini things today. My little Laura Mercier pink powder under the eyes and the one size um, blur setting powder just like all over the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows as well and we'll be back. Okay, we are back in the room. I tried to do like a little bit of a lighter brow situation. Oh my God, why am I like nervous, excited? It's in the gates, the gates? open at 4.30, it's 24 minutes past four. I feel like I wanna get there sooner rather than later, even though I'm not standing or anything. I feel like I just wanna get some like merch and I just wanna like sit in my seat and like it not be like super crowded or anything like that. Ah! Sorry, I'm suddenly like excited and nervous like all at the same time, it's all just suddenly hit me. Um, right, I'm gonna use my Made by Mitchell Bronze Motel bronzing palette um i kind of bought this with the anticipation of using it as like a giant eyeshadow palette but i'm gonna use it to contour my skin i'm using some shade so it's this top one the formula of these powders is just so good i'm just gonna take it into the crease but i'm really like not going to do eyeshadow at all and then for the bronzing shade i think i'm gonna mix like these two together or maybe just like more cheeky just give it a little dab give myself a bronzer helmet love doing that but yes this is gonna be like my new favorite thing to travel with because it's an eyeshadow palette and bronzer and contour all in one so i've just eliminated like three separate products think smarter not harder uh, but going in with shimmery bronzer, of course. Love, love, loving MAC Gold Deposit at the moment. I feel like I'm gonna just bathe myself in this. I'm gonna take it down on my chesticles as well. Oh my God, like I couldn't think about like what I wanted to wear either. I feel like I'm, I'll, I'll obviously show you my outfit and what I go for, but I don't know, it just felt funny like picking out an outfit just to go alone. I didn't even know. Anyway, I am just loving, you know I got that MAC Mineralize blusher in like bubbles please or something, which is more blue tone pink. Now we're in the like summer months. I picked up a few more shades. I got Like Me, Love Me. So gorgeous. Like what a beautiful color. It's like so subtle. It's like a flush of like, it's like giving Victoria's Secret bombshell blush, that sort of vibe. And I am gonna go in with a little bit of NARS Orgasm X. <gasps> Stunning. Oh, it's just so pretty love those two together i did actually pick up a lot of like new products recently because not only do i love just like shopping for new makeup but i said on my tiktok i'm actually doing sorry i've got like a fluff on my face get it got it oh i'm actually doing my friend's wedding makeup in october and we're doing her like trial in a few weeks so i obviously wanted to just like get some new bits um to use on her I'm so excited like I love doing other people's makeup like I really really do and the fact that she's trusting me with her wedding her wedding makeup is insane um so yeah I picked up a few bits for that and I just feel like I always I feel like it's my inner mac girl and it's just mac is just I feel like she's making her comeback and I'm really happy for them because I love mac always have and I just feel like from doing people's makeup for events and stuff like on counter there are just certain like mac products that I feel like when you're doing other people's makeup are just essential. So I picked up like a few more MAC bits. I'm gonna go in with my Wee Cherie. Just to make sure 
it's all looking gorgeous and then I'm just going to put a little bit of Mitchell champagne spray on the back of my hand and these little mini sponges by Coco Cosmetics are so good for that like this part just want that glass super dewy skin vibe And then I do, though, like it to just kind of be like dewy everywhere, except here. So I do go back in with my powder puff. Um, no additional product, just whatever was left. And just quickly, like, almost like blot the center of my face. I think I might go in, maybe just a tiny bit of powder highlighter. I feel like I'm just prolonging <laughs> me actually having to, like, get leave and go i need to get more excited i know i just had like the wave of excitement like two seconds ago but now i'm nervous again yeah i'm not gonna do anything on my eyes really actually maybe i'll just put a little bit of um urban decay moon dust just like to give my lids a like like something i don't know They just kind of have like a wet look. That's cute. And maybe I'll just highlight my inner corner. Also something that I had to pick up for the wedding, but now I'm just gonna use it in the meantime. MAC Nylon as an inner corner highlighter is like a must. Let's do some under the brow. And then I think I will actually. <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing anything on my eyes. And now I'm like, okay, let me just put a shimmer and in a corner highlighter and I'm just gonna put some mascara on using the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. I don't wanna like completely coat my lashes because I have got my lash extensions on still from my holiday and I don't wanna like drown them, but I feel like they look good with a bit of mascara on, especially when they're like at this stage. Well, imagine if those were like my actual lashes. That's kind of what I wanted these lash extensions to look like, was that these could be my actual lashes if I was naturally blessed with super long lashes. And this mascara is so good as well. It gives me like the right amount of like volume. And even though I'm wearing lash extensions, it really separates and lengthens them, which is what I wanted. Oh my gosh. Right, onto the lip, I'm using one size uh, Rent Do really gorgeous like um like a nude brown see it's so pretty and then i'm gonna go in with the tart um Marac maracuja lip oil do i want cherry blossom that is a bit of a wipe do i want cherry blossom or do i want this peachy color i feel like i'm gonna go for the peach because my blush is more on the peachy side of things But bear in mind, these are like super glossy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I feel like that's it. I'm ready. I'm going to put um, a setting spray on. Oh my gosh. Why am I like suddenly really nervous? It's fine. Once I'm there, it'll be absolutely fine. Lock this all in place. I mean, everything I've really used is like sweat resistant and stuff. So hopefully it should all, it should all stay in place anyway. But right, it's time to get dressed. I have a glass of bubbles, I think. That will calm my nerves slightly. And yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing now. Hey, is this okay? Why am I suddenly like, I suddenly can't face it and I can't go. I'm gonna bring sunglasses because I feel like we're gonna be outside. Oh, I don't know. I've suddenly forgotten how to like do act or like be. Maybe no one will see me now. But I'm just doing this. Does it look weird that I've tugged it? It did just look a bit weird that it was like draped down. Oh my God, no, Rachel, I need to get excited. Do you know what I need to do? I need to have a glass of bubbles and uh, put some 
weekend music on, which I'm really annoyed about. I'm obviously not going to be able to like vlog. I like vlog little bits of the concert. I feel like I don't get copyrighted. It's just like three seconds, but I'm going to insert this TikTok because this is going to be me tonight. <laughs> but yeah, let's crack open the bubbles, shall we? Here we go. Tesco's finest, of course. Oh my gosh. Here we bloody go, girls. Cheers to being independent women that can do things on their own and doing things just for yourself. I'm gonna just class this as like a solo date to myself. Cheers to that, although I'm taking you guys along with me. Let me just have a sip. It's bloody lovely that, bloody lovely. Anyway. So the gates opened 20 minutes ago. I feel like I do kind of want to go there early and just chill in my seat. I want to get some merch. So I'm probably going to have this and head on me merry way. I'm laughing because I, I even have a playlist on Spotify called Weekend Songs that send me into orbit. If I hear this, I'm going feral. Just have to oh, ask someone where the fuck I'm going because I've got no idea. I think I'm gonna get number 11. I'm so fucking glad I'm wearing sun cream right now because this sun and the cues are not a joke. Didn't really think this through having to lug this around, but we're at the bar. Oh my God, look at the queue that I've just joined. Okay, thought I was going to be walking the whole way home. I've walked a little bit and finally have an Uber. Guys, I'm back home and number one, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Hello. Guys, that was the best thing I ever did. I swear to God, like the best thing I ever did. Like that was amazing. I had the best time. And not my makeup literally like staying on besides my nose where I had my sunglasses on. Okay, honestly, that serum and SPF, if you think that those kind of things might like alter your makeup, absolutely not. Mine's like stayed on. Sorry, I got like fluff on my face now. It's all good. I've lasted the night. And, and thank God I wore that SPF because at the beginning when I was standing in the queues, the sun and like you just never know and you should wear SPF all the time to stay protected but my god I hadn't realized that I was going to be in the sun so much so thanks L'Oreal. I've left the links to them down below just ordered myself some food because I'm starving not had anything since like lunchtime. I just had like drinks and water I said I wasn't going to drink and I did have like a few glasses of wine technically 
and then switch to water at the end but i've got home now and i'm starving and i thought you know what this is the that that is the nice round off to my little solo date night but honestly i swear to god like when i was leaving obviously you know i was like really nervous i was suddenly like oh my god what am i doing am i really bizarre like doing this i had my headphones in i was just chilling like when i got there top tip I got there way too early, like literally way too early. Um, it said doors opened at 4.30 and I was like, well, let me get there early so I can definitely get some merch and just get to my seat. I couldn't get to my seat any sooner than when they had decided that they, 4.30 wasn't the doors that like everything opened, 4.30 was the doors that they opened like the stadium. So I was way too early and ended up standing in the queue for ages. So he didn't come on till like 8.30. The, the like acts before were so good. Like he had DJs that were so like techy and house. Like if you were stood in the crowd, I feel like that would have been amazing. I obviously had like my own seat. I made some friends, but no, it was like, it was amazing. And then as soon as he comes on, it's just like, I forgot that anyone else was there and I was just like singing along. I've included as much as I can. I'm just waiting for my food now. Um, literally ravenous, starving. He's on his bike and he's on his way. So I'm gonna say goodbye, but this is your sign to go to a concert alone because honestly it was really daunting at first and then I got there and I was like, actually nobody gives two shits that you're there on your own. I made friends in the queue. When I got to my seat, I was just in my seat, spoke to the person next to me. And then as soon as the weekend came on, it was, that was that. So it was amazing. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I enjoyed making it and going and doing this for myself. I'm starving, my food's nearly here. I'm gonna net me water. But anyway, love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. God is my dinner, now fuck it over, let me eat. It ain't no surprise, baby, no she feeling me.